Hi. I wanted to show you kind of how to work with the tabs in our, our mobile file. Um, as I move the window, you can kind of see what's happening with this left-hand sidebar, right? When we're in a vertical orientation on the iPad, we collapse that, and when we're in a horizontal orientation, we show it. And you can see we have some scripts up here that run uh, when you get to the layout in, in Pro, so that it looks normal in Pro. So that's what it looks like in horizontal, and that's what it looks like in vertical. So if we go into layout mode, you can see that this object is all the way to the left-hand side in layout mode. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see. So the way to manipulate it and to get at the tabs below it is to click right here, which is grab this kind of big uh, tab object. Don't just grab the text, grab this big tab object. And if I were to double click on it, you'd see it is a tab. It's a single tab tab control. So I'm just going to hold the shift key down to constrain this thing from moving up and down and move it over to the right. And that reveals the tab control below it. So this is also a tab control, and if I were to move this header out of the way, you'd see that there are tabs here, but I don't need to move it out of the way. I can click through it and kind of work with the tabs that are right here. So if I need to you know, change this text, I just click over here, right here, get this tab and change the text. That's also how we work with the tabs over here. I zoom back in and scoot over whoop, right here. I could move this object out of the way, but I don't, I don't need to, and I would recommend not doing it because these are this tab control is a little more sensitive. But if I click through it, you can see that I can get to the other tabs that are beneath it. And there are only three of them. Items, photos, and notes. Signature is actually a whole other layout. Um, so, and when you're playing around, if you ever make a mistake, you can use my favorite command here, revert layout, as long as you haven't entered browse mode again. And it'll put the layout back exactly the way it was when you uh, started your work. So, I hope that helps, and uh, enjoy playing with GoZink.